In this video by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be doing another user submitted question and this is going to be part B of the problem that we did in you know, the video before at any rate. So we've been given the equation f of x equals x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 and seeing as we've gone to We've done lots of practice on the derivatives. I didn't solve the derivatives here. I uh, wrote them down ahead of time so that we have them available. Now, in terms of finding where this function is increasing, decreasing, the concavity and stuff like that, it's going to be a little bit more tricky than what we've had before. And the reason lies in these derivatives here. When you have fractions, the way you find where the function is equal to 0 is where the numerator is equal to 0. Excuse me, but we don't have that option there because there's no x in the numerator. We just have a constant in top. But additionally, we have this problem with the bottom. With x minus 3, it could be equal to 0. Now I'm going to show you how to tackle that. But first, one of the specifications of this problem is to show where the asymptotes are. That's very easy. Where you have a 0 in the denominator, you have a vertical asymptote. And that clearly occurs at x equals 3. So let's draw that in right away. Now the next thing we're going to want to do, and normally when I'm doing sketches, I don't zero in on any points, but you can see that we're at x equals positive 2, the numerator is equal to 0, which means this function is equal to 0 there. So we'll want to know that. And we are also going to know that this isn't going to cross the x-axis anywhere else. You know, x equals 2 is the only point where f of x is equal to 0. So from that point, we're not going to have any more usable information from the first derivative. So let's move on to start analyzing. I'm sorry, we're not going to have any more useful information from analyzing the function. So now we need to start analyzing the first derivative. Now, one thing that's worth pointing out is that um, the denominator here is squared. And the reason that this is important is no matter what value of x we put into the denominator, it is always going to be positive. So this is always going to be negative 1 divided by a positive number, which means this is always going to be negative. From negative infinity to positive infinity, no matter what value of x we put in, this function is going to be decreasing. So let me take a different color here. We're going to be decreasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. So that's what our first derivative tells us. Now we're going to take a look at the second derivative and see what information we can pry out of this. The denominator in the second derivative is raised to the third power. So if we have a negative number going in and we raise it to the third, it's negative on the outside. And clearly the change is going to occur at x equals positive 3. If we put in any number below positive 3, so let's take an example. If we do f of negative 2, it's going to be equal to 2 minus 2 minus 3 to the third power, which is going to be 2 over negative 5 to the third, which is negative 2 over 125. So everywhere below x equals 3, we're going to have a negative number in the second derivative. That means this is going to be concave down. Negative number means that you have a decreasing uh, slope, so you have concave down. Now for the same reason, if we do any value of x that's greater than 3, we're going to have a positive number in the denominator. For example, if we do negative, or if we do positive 4 instead, we got 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. 2 over 1 is equal to 2, and it's positive. So anything greater than 3 is positive. This gives us a concave up. So this is generally all the information we ever need to pull out of a function to do a sketch. We know the intervals where it's decreasing, where it's concave down, where it's concave up the vertical asymptotes and where it crosses the x-axis. So now this gives us the ability to sketch a graph. And I would say it's going to look something like this.
And there you have it. Next video, we're going to do Part C.